In today's video, we're gonna be exploring cell fluids, which is a new Blender add-on that uses the power of geometry nodes to simulate fluids. It was created by a developer who has other add-ons that also use geometry nodes such as Real Flame Generator, Real Time River Generator, Light Trails Generator, and more. What sets cell fluids apart is its unique approach, providing what can be described as a 2.5D fluid simulation experience. And unlike traditional fluid simulations, cell fluids relies on your scene's height field and conducts the simulation within a 2 degree mesh with displacement applied to it. And this distinctive method opens up exciting possibilities for fluid dynamics within Blender. This add-on requires the latest version of Blender. So if you want to start using it, make sure you're gonna have at least the 3.6 release. To use the add-on, you first need to install it and then go to the M panel on your viewport where you will find the add-on, and then press on the button where it says New Fluid, then all the settings will appear underneath. You can then adjust the values and settings depending on what you need and desire. Moving on, let's now take a closer look at all the features that make cell fluids a noteworthy addition to your Blender's toolkit. One of its best features is its ability to perform fast interactive, semi-real-time fluid simulations. This means you can make adjustments and see the results almost instantly, enhancing your creative workflow and saving you some headaches. And what you get is realistic fluid effects that add depth and authenticity to your scenes. Also, one of the key advantages of cell fluids is its lightweight and resource-friendly nature, because it won't strain your system even when dealing with complex scenes. You can enjoy different fluid simulations without worrying about your machine's performance. This is actually an important point because a lot of us don't have such huge machines that are used in VFX productions. So keeping performance in mind is a very good thing. On top of that, cell fluids seamlessly integrates with both EVA cycles, giving you flexibility in your workflow. So if you want to work using cycles for final renders, it's going to be possible. But if you want to see the simulations in real time using EV, this also is going to be a very good option and needed in many situations. Another impressive feature of cell fluids is the option to bake any state of the fluid into a static mesh, complete with a flow map. This allows you to capture and preserve your fluid simulations in a usable static form for further enhancements and creative manipulation. And this makes it a valuable tool for artists who want to retain the precision for fluid dynamics. However, it is essential to be aware of some of these add-ons limitations. So while it excels at simulating various fluid behaviors, it's not designed for complex and multi-layer fluids or intricate splashes. Essentially, it operates on a plane with displacement, offering impressive results but not aiming for fully physical accurate fluid simulations. Also keep in mind that ground geometry should avoid sharp edges, as they might protrude from the fluid in certain scenarios. Additionally, some fluids does not animate the ground geometry. So generally speaking, this add-on brings an intriguing 2.5D approach to fluid simulations, offering realism, speed, and efficiency. While it has some limitations in terms of complexity, it can be a valuable tool for those looking to add fluid dynamics in their Blender projects without overwhelming your system. This add-on has been bought by hundreds of people already with a 5-star review, so I think Blender artists find it useful and interesting. And if you are interested too, you will find all the necessary links in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to this channel to stay updated with news of 3D software and the 3D news in general. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.